Viewers, today I have for you a list of jaw droppers. This is a list of items that make your jaw hang open because of how insanely impossible what you're seeing is. AI tech does this a lot, makes my mouth drop, and that is one of the reasons I cover AI so much on this channel. Our theme today is 3D objects. AI in the future is going to allow us to conjure 3D objects essentially out of our minds. And if that doesn't sound exciting, spooky, and crazy to you, then I don't know how to help you. Not only is this going to allow creative people to create video games with 3D characters much easier, but I want you to envision a future where you put on a headset and you just start talking to the computer with your voice and explaining what you want to see in it comes to life in front of you. I want to be in a beautiful serene forest or I want to be surrounded by beautiful mountains. I want to be on the ocean relaxing and 3D worlds appear before your eyes. So this is the first of three different companies that are working on this tech. This is Lumalabs.ai. You guys should join their waitlist if you want to start generating 3D models as soon as possible. Essentially what this is is a prototype to create 3D objects out of just text. Access to generation is gradually expanding to everyone on the waitlist. But they have a plethora of examples to look at here, so let's take a peek. Oh, a goat. All right, I want you to think about this, right? All they did was type the word goat in. And essentially what we have here is a pretty darn good generation of a goat. The hind legs look like they're proportionally accurate. The underside of the goat even looks like it's fully detailed and everything. Obviously, one of the most important parts of the goat is the horns here. The horns look pretty good. And, you know, you have the goat's face in here as well. This could be used as a 3D model in a video game asset, I think. It's very, very good. Maybe it's a little rounded on the edges and it's not exactly perfect. You know, I, if I saw this in a AAA game, I'd be like, all right, you know, that's not the best 3D model in the world. However, I mean... Just from one single word, this is amazing technology. I really, really like this example because of how specific it is. So the prompt for this one, again, remember, there's nothing else except for text being inputted into this model. Donut with blue and yellow sprinkles on top. It's not just going to give us a basic plain donut. It's going to follow the prompt and make a weird looking gross donut with blue frosting and yellow sprinkles. Now, the bottom of the donut looks a little burnt, so I will say that's not exactly perfect. But honestly, if you look in here, the sprinkles aren't really perfect either, but it's doing a pretty good job just for being a little beta alpha access test. The frosting is clearly a separate object from the rest of the donut as we look at the sides of this model and spin around. And some of the sprinkles are more embossed upwards in comparison to the rest of the object. So this is a challenging object for a model like this. And I got to say, it's doing a pretty good job. And also look how round that donut is. By far throughout all of this, the characters are the coolest. So this is supposed to portray one of the members of Daft Punk. And they're wearing a shimmering gold coat. So no, they're not in a T-pose necessarily, but it definitely looks like Daft Punk. It definitely has all the right proportions of a human. And especially the feet here too. They do match pretty well. The symmetry of the suit looks nice. It, it definitely looks like a golden suit there's no doubt about that and the helmet's all right as well obviously the hands completely got messed up and lost within this so that's one of the shortcomings of the model so far is the detail isn't quite there yet but i gotta say the 3d model came along quite nicely and the most important thing to point out i really do think is the the fact that the gold definitely looks like gold here's uh the upper half of a little alien character i thought this was quite fun as well you can see his eyes are kind of glowing in a creepy way but yeah there's a lot of just bumps and texture and detail on this character and i think it looks quite nice this koi fish came out absolutely incredible i think that its fins and everything really really came along nicely this, you know fins are a pretty thin object and they're a little bit thick on this model i think but in the context of a video game let's say this would be swimming in a pond underwater and you wouldn't really know notice him so the ability to just the snap of the fingers generate a bunch of koi fish to add to your pond in a video game and you don't have to go pay for 3d models or recreate your own 3d models is pretty incredible here's an example of some sushi on a plate this one's a little bit high on the contrast side which makes it look a little bit unrealistic and also the sushi is coming from under the plate as well which is a little disturbing this mutant sushi but the top of it honestly looks pretty darn appetizing 
This is definitely a tougher model to go with here. This is a race car, and you can see this one is definitely not perfect. So this highlights some of the shortcomings of these models so far. Again, it's that detail thing. It's not able to render sharp edges and corners super well yet. Everything kind of looks like a clay mold. As you can see, there are just complete failures that do happen with this model, and they're kind of hilarious. This is supposed to be Harry Styles singing on a stage. I don't know which part of this is Harry Styles. Maybe, maybe Harry Styles is secretly a monster or something in this 3d model knows something we don't but um yeah this just this looks absolutely terrifying it's it's like a cloud of blue mist this is a really interesting concept that i never would have thought of and it actually kind of came out all right this is glass pouring out of water onto the ground into a puddle lots of splashes extreme detail obviously we didn't get most of that prompt in there but what we did get is water pouring down and splashing somewhere and we can see all the little bobbles of water flying around and it's very interesting it seems like time is almost frozen we can float around and see this insane splash moment in time so this is really cool i really can't wait one day for ai to be able to do like physics renders in real time i don't know about you guys but i find physics renders extremely satisfying here's another interesting one trying to combine two ideas into one this was simply a robot crab and this one i think came out really really good considering how complex this idea really can get there's definitely a robot base to this crab and you can see he's got like a little antenna stick out which isn't generated perfectly but it definitely was able to figure out that this was like some kind of robot antenna which was pretty cool and the crab legs came out fantastic they're crawling down and clawing down like you would expect robot crab legs to do so this one came out really cool and i love the the toy look of it, it looks like a toy robot crab or something you'd see in toys r us another idea combining two things into once this is mouse skeleton so obviously this is not anatomically correct i mean look at that tail but uh it's a pretty creepy looking skeleton mouse this is terrifying and i think in a horror experience if you're trying to make something that's more horror related whether it be like a movie or a video game this is creepy as anything and since this model has imperfections i think it makes this even better in terms of being creepy so maybe that's already a strong point of the model is creepy stuff like this and one other note i'd want to make about this model they definitely need to work on the contrast of the generations here because a lot of them are high contrast and have literally like dark blotches all over them all right viewers i'll admit this one's not as exciting but it's still really really cool and i think the texturing works a lot better with this this is by leonardo.ai they have a really cool little discord server essentially this technology is text to texture so what you do is you input the untextured 3d model and then you type a prompt in and the texture gets filled in on top of that 3d model the example here is obviously like these little superhero toys and you can see it worked really really well the texturing definitely looks better than the previous model we just saw the spider-man one stands out to me as one of the better ones in this entire group but it, you can tell it's the same model and they're all textured in a very similar art style if you need to make a ton of variants of the same item this is definitely the way to go What's also really cool is there's an absolute plethora of free resources for completely untextured models that you can try this with. And Leonardo lists a few good websites down here in this Twitter post. And if you're wondering, this is also waitlist based, so it's not public yet, but it will be coming very soon to the public. I think this model is a lot cooler. There's vast detail in this one. We can tell the 3D model was pretty detailed and it filled in the texture really, really well, I think. We can also tell by the lighting on this one that there's a little bit more going on in terms of textures. Like, what is he shiny in some areas? Is his skin more rough in some areas? You can definitely tell the way the light is reflecting off of the texture. So there's something going on in the hood here that really, really gets me excited for the future of this technology. Super cool stuff. This is 3D aware conditional image synthesis. Sounds really boring, but it's really not. This essentially is drawing to 3D object, which in my opinion is a little bit more creative and a little bit maybe more fun than just typing in a text prompt. And just think of all the AI generated images you could turn into 3D objects with this. So you could see with our demo, this is visually sort of how the model sees the world. There are different 3D elements that a photo can be broken down into and you can see the 3d models being generated based off of these images we can also see it does work on cats and you know these are pretty horrifying images but the end result is a pretty cool little 3d image of a cat i think it works really really well with this car model here 
So let's take a look at their little demo. So our setup for this demo is pretty simple. He's able to draw images with the mouse and then they turn 3D when you press the generate button. Let's take a look. So he's going to go over here, draw a quick little vehicle here, just a simple car. He clicks the generate button and there we have a car that generates right off the bat and he can spin and turn it around. And what's really interesting is he's able to go through and in paint or edit the image he already drew and it changes the style and the look of the car based off of the simple drawing. And it looks so good. What's also cool is after he draws that initial model and clicks the generate button, it becomes a drawing that is able to be rotated. So it's really, really doing a lot of work under the hood to interpret what the drawing means. So this technology just really, really seems like magic, how you could just draw a simple little drawing of a car and then bam, there's your 3D render. And they also show this working with a cat as well. So you click generate and you get a little 3D image of a cat and you can make the cat skinnier if you want by doing a little bit of in painting. So while this is just kind of a little demo and we don't really have access to it at all, it is way more interesting in my opinion. Like think of a world where you can go into your VR headset and start to draw stuff and then it pops into reality. I mean, how cool would that be? How interactive would that be for creating your own 3D worlds? If you want to hear about the latest advancements in AI, I strongly suggest checking out my Discord server linked down below. We have a fantastic community. And yeah, all of these amazing things will also be linked down in the description. Spooky, but really cool stuff. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.